Hi, welcome to the course of Reinforced Concrete Design 1. This is a typical civil engineering course which is offered in the third year of the program. It is basically the part 1 of the Reinforced Concrete Design to be studied within the program. The course is basically a design course which constitute nearly 100% of the calculations. To be able to understand the course, you will need the prerequisite course on the structural analysis. This video is made to introduce the course content and the references to be used in this course. There will be 9 chapters to be covered which constitute of the property of reinforced concrete, limit state design, analysis of the structures, analysis of the sections, shear and bond, serviceability and durability requirement, design of reinforced concrete beam, design of reinforced concrete slab and the column design. The first half of the courses covers the fundamentals of the reinforced concrete design, while the later part of the course covers the design and checking of the structural element under the ultimate limit state and the serviceability limit states. The scope covered by this course are mainly for the brace structures with short columns. For the unbraced structures and slender columns, as well as the other structural elements, such as the foundations and footings, it will be covered in the following course, which is Reinforced Concrete Design 2. For your information, the braced structures only covers the vertical loads acting on the structures. It assumes that the horizontal forces is taken by the shear walls, bracings, or even staircase. Next, I would like to introduce you with several main references for these courses. These include the references written by Mosley, produced by the Concrete Center, and also some other references. These references give you good explanations in terms of the theories and principles of the reinforced concrete structures. This gives you a very concise equations and diagram in explaining those principles. There are a lot of examples given in these references and you will refer to two standard quite extensively. The first one is Eurocode. Eurocode is mainly used for the design. And the second one is BS. The BS is the analysis part that we can adopt for us to determine the load adding on the reinforced concrete structures. It is noted that the British Standard Act 110 has already been superseded by Eurocode. However, there are analysis part which the Eurocode silence. It did not provide any guidance for us to analyze the load. We may adopt the BS for us to analyze the load. In case there are conflicting information between the Eurocode and BS, Eurocode will be the ultimate references. You may also refer to this reference for you to know when to use Eurocode and when to use BS. With that, all the best and good luck for your learning process.